الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين I start in the name of Allah, the all-merciful, the ever-merciful, and the everlasting curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, as usual, before getting engaged in this episode, let me start with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al-Imam Al-Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, The most generous of the people is the person who gives to those from whom he has no hope of return. Generosity is the opposite of stinginess, as stinginess is a disease of the heart, whereas generosity is a cure for the heart. In this regard, the Prophet of Islam, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him and upon his pure family, says that protect yourself from the hellfire by even giving a piece of date as a charity. In this regard, whatever is given in charity will be recorded with the one who has full knowledge of everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, in the following verse, and whatever you spend of good, it will be fully repaid to you and you will never be wronged. Generosity, as a matter of fact, is not expressed exclusively with health, money, but also with our time, good deeds, actions, and kindness to all people around us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms that idea in the book, in the Holy Quran. He says, never will you attain the good reward until you spend in the way of Allah from what you desire. Peace and blessings be upon your respected viewers and welcome to a new episode of Who's Imam Hussein? A series of episodes in which we in detail talk about the different stages of life of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, going through the stories that happened to him through his life, and then mentioning some of the prophetic traditions that the Prophet of Islam says in the right of Al Hussein, and then we end up with his unparalleled martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the previous episode, we spoke a little about the blessed childhood and youth of Imam Hussein. However, in this episode, we are going to talk about some of the verses mentioned in the holy book of Allah, the Quran, in the right of Al Hussein alayhi salam and the other members of his household. As Allah Almighty had chosen Al Imam Al Hussein bin Ali alayhi salam to be among the Prophet's household members, we find that even as a child, Al Imam Al Hussein was a present at some of the most important events in our faith, such as the day of Al Mubahala. On this occasion, some Christians from Nijran visited the Holy Prophet. When discussing the subject of the Prophet Isa, the son of Lady Mary, the Christians argued that the son was the son of Allah, while Muhammad the Prophet maintained that though Isa bin Maryam was a great prophet, he was merely nonetheless a created being like any other person. Eventually, the Messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad, challenged those people to Al Mubahala, which is when two parties ask Allah to curse whichever is lying. When the Messenger of Allah appeared for Mubahala, he brought with him Ali, his daughter Fatima, and his two grandsons Hassan and Hussein. The verse of Al Mubahala was revealed about this occasion in shrinking Imam Hussein, his brother, and his parents. If I may read out the verse to you from the Holy Quran, Allah says, Should anyone argue with you concerning him, after the knowledge that has come to you, come, let us call our sons on your sons, our women on your women, our souls on your souls, and then let's pray earnestly and call down Allah's curse upon who are the liars. Our respected viewers, in another major event in the early life of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, for which another verse was revealed about him. It is the joyous occasion of the clock. It's a very popular narration. At the time Fatima had gone to visit her father, namely Muhammad the Prophet, fearing that he might be ill, she gave him his Yemeni blanket. He wrapped her in the blanket as well. And soon Hassan, the older, grandson of Prophet Muhammad, son of Fatima, had joined them as well. Then came Hussein. Hussein approached the clock saying, O oh, my dear grandfather, dressing the Prophet of Islam, the chosen Prophet of Allah, peace be upon you, may I also come inside the clock to be with you? The Prophet of Islam replied, O oh, my son, the interceder of my nation, peace be upon you. Yes, you may enter. When Fatima, alayhi salam, 
Ali, Hassan, and Hussein, and even the angel Gabriel had all been gathered with the Prophet of Islam under the clock, the verse of purification had been revealed. If I may read out to you this holy verse from the holy book when Allah says, Indeed, Allah desires to repel all impurity from you, or people of the household, and purify you with a thorough purification. We see that once again, that even as a young Al Hussein bin Ali has been also been immortalized in the Book of Allah. Our respected viewers, we have reached to the end of today's episode. Until we meet with more new episodes, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret verbatim the message of his grandfather, Al Imam Al Hussein, when he says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have here for today. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, my God.